oh my gosh, look at this belt. I was uh, dropping stuff off at the front. That is so fantastic. Today, I'm back at Antique Marketplace of Lemoyne. There's a lot of new vendors that have moved in since I've been here last. Let's go in and check it out. Now, this is interesting too. What is this? That's definitely different. Um, there's a lot of really great Italian pieces in here. Um, I did end up putting that vase back just because I had a picture like it recently. And um, I find it to be more on the common pattern side. So even though it's still a good deal, I feel like I could do better. And I did. I took everything else that you saw. Um, this one is fantastic, but I don't really want to ship that, honestly. And then this vendor has 50% off. Look at these glasses. $50, so $25. Those are fantastic. Vintage glasses usually do pretty well. Wait, 50% off? The micro mosaics? Let me read the fine print on this one more time. 816, 50% off. So all these little micro mosaics are now $9? What? Well, one, two. Oh, I see that one's missing a couple pieces. I should probably be paying attention. There might be a reason that these are the ones left. Yeah, that one's missing some. That one, eh, I think we could get away with that one. And that one's really missing some. At second glance, somebody definitely beat me to these because the ones that are left all have pieces missing, which is an easy miss on something that tiny. And then here, this earlier, little creamer that's sweet that looks almost like moser ten dollars and twenty percent off with the enamel painting that's pretty cute eight bucks this though this is a cool piece wow this is fifteen dollars feather painted redware vase a lot of the times these are super banged up this one only has minimal wear right at the top comes like $12. I think for $12, I'm actually going to go ahead and get this. Oh, I'm feeling super off today. I'm just double guessing myself with the little chips along the side for $12. I've barely gone through like even 25% of this place. I should just keep going. Oh, wow. Look at all the evening in Paris stuff. I wonder, does that say $6? Is this open? Oh, wow. Let's check this out. This bottle. $2 on the <laughs> Evening in Paris toil water, toilet water. Well, Evening in Paris is super collectible, so I am going to be taking that. Wow, look at this Russian lacquered box. That's, only, oh, that's amazing. $25? That's pretty spectacular. I'm going to take a second look at that, but I'm going to finish what I'm doing in here. Noxima, that's a neat little medical tin. Oh, I'm having so much trouble today. Okay, so I think I am going to go ahead and take both of these things. And then on this side, that uh, is full of powder. I don't really want to mess with something full of powder. And anybody who says, oh, you can, you can uh, empty it. Well, have you ever tried doing that? <laughs> this is really sweet but I don't see the tag for it. Oh, here it is. Travel size evening in Paris, $5. Well, that's a steal. I'll take that as well. Oh, but nope, it's got liquid in it. I don't mess anything with liquid under any circumstances. Just kidding. About the box. The box is full of powder. Yeah, it's all full of powder. And that's really sweet. It feels like it's going to be full of powder too and it leaks out and it makes such a mess. The cream is really neat. Look at this cream jar. That is so fantastic. Now down here, I see the little barrettes. Oh no, they're, ear they're shoe clips actually. But what is this? The 
Einstein face powder jar. That's fantastic. That's a 22 though. And I can't help but notice this vanity set. The Ormolu on this mirror is fantastic. Three of three, so it's sold all together for $40. That's a deal. The mirror alone, oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Now, as I was saying about this Russian lacquered painted box, that is pristine. It's signed. I think I would be remiss if I didn't take this with me for that price. That's really spectacular. Oh, I love the look of this booth. Look at their case. Oh, they have the ponytail photo bank. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a key. I'm leaving my basket here so I remember. I love ponytail stuff and it's really collectible and it's usually hard to find for good prices. Hopefully there's no tears in that a lot of the times. That vinyl rips really easy over time. And then over here, that's definitely Czechoslovakian. I have one like that right now in orange and blue. It's fantastic. I love this pottery fish planter too. That is USA. That's really fun. Well, look at this. This dog on Bakelite. Oh my gosh, and it's from an old jeweler. How neat. For $6, I'm definitely taking that. That's so fantastic. I love the old advertisements like this. And behind me, I'm just noticing the Fenton's really pretty. That's at 75, but it's this book of needle books. Oh my gosh, those are fantastic. There's some really good ones in there, I see can't really tell what the condition is. Some of them look kind of rough, but it's $10 for all. I figured I'd do this booth before I called for keys, just in case I see anything. Sometimes I get lazy. Now this paperweight is really interesting. And it is signed. Looks like it's maybe from Malta or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's $25 and 25% off. It doesn't really excite me that much though. Whoa, this excites me. Look at this crazy pottery piece. Raku, $45. It's a Raku bird box. How neat is that? A lot of pottery here. Of course, the face jug sticks out. These are kind of a nightmare to ship. They're so heavy. Oh, $60, that's a good price. But it's this one that really interests me. $35 North Carolina Blue Crystalline Vase. That's very different. $35, 25% off. I might do a little homework on that piece. In the meantime, over here, I love this blue satin glass bowl. And uh, the diamond optic one as well. I've looked at that one before. It's a little close for me. That's a really neat piece, whatever that huge pot is back there. And the Czechoslovakian nude slag vase. That's amazing. That's at 175 and 25% off, I believe. And then I can't tell what the price is on the owl. I might ask for help just because I'm getting the case next to it open anyway. And then here in this uh, Murano bubble vase, that's gorgeous. That's at 125. And then this one, this is UW Harry, North Carolina. Now I looked at a bunch of comps. Um, I saw a couple of the crystalline ones. They went for anywhere between 50 and $75, but this one's even better than those. So I think I'm going to get this for $35. And then after the discount, it comes to like 27 Well, thank goodness for ponytail because I left my basket here reminding myself to get into this case. And when I was walking by the other direction, I noticed this. three, uh, Four vintage gold-filled pieces, $20 and 15% off. Look at that Murano charm. Oh my gosh. And then the cameos back there. All right, this definitely requires attention. I'm going to go get a key. This is neat too. What is that? The dentist mirror for $7? I need that. Well, I grabbed the dentist uh, mirror. I also grabbed the Murano and other pendants. The cameos I could have lived without. I did grab ponytail and I'm waiting for the key to get in to just see how much the owl is. And then of course I saw this. 
This requires attention. This one is at 275 and 20% off. That's not a bad deal at all. Oh my gosh, look at these weird cats. These are so funny. They're definitely on the newer side, $15 for the pair. Yeah, they're made to look like the Japanese ones, but they are not Japanese. They almost look Mexican. Well, surprise, surprise, the owl, the Imperial Slag Glass Owl is actually $40 and then 25% off. So for $30, I took that up to the front. And this cranberry jack in the pulpit is gorgeous, but it's 75, can't do anything with it. I was just about to say, I cannot believe how long I've been in here. <laughs> and then this. Oh my god. Dude, what is happening here? What vendor is this? 787. We have a discount. 787. No discount. But this is... This is insane. So, this is all the Holt Howard pixie wear. And... Okay, so 140 on the olives. I was going to say, I thought the olives was going to be $70 too. I was going to say, that's a no-brainer. Um, the ketchup is at 75 Mustard, what, the jam and jelly girl. Lipper man, $75. Uh, that's, this is pretty amazing to see all in one place. Not to my surprise, it's all just a little bit close. For a collector... This is gonna be gone. But for me, uh, I couldn't make that much off of it, honestly. So I'm gonna leave it be. And of all the little dog figurines, the one with the red bow tie stands out, stands out to them too. That one's at 16. And then here, this bee mug, that's different. Great day pottery, $12 bee mug. That's pretty neat. Look at this piece, that's wild. Pottery vase definitely contemporary this is kind of neat too what is the german i like this kind of wall pockety thing that's at 20 dollars. i love the stickers on them Any, i'm a sucker for an original sticker oh my gosh look at the little florida candy dot fish purse that's too cute and that's at seven dollars i will take that anything with the candy dots let me make sure it's not like ruined on the inside Nope, that's a good deal. Also, look at this ornament. I think this is made in Japan. Yep, Japan. I was going to say Korea. There is a version that's made in Korea. Uh, but this one's older, obviously. $12. She's actually a really good price. So I am going to take that. Um, these are really hard to find and super popular amongst collectors. Now this looks Italian and it's amazing. It's as is. I'm going to leave it as is. And then this mirror looks like it has a big light handle almost. That's neat. A lot going on back here. The first thing I notice is of course the vacation squirrel. That is adorable. That's at $11. And the other one I notice is the Tanala piece. That one's at 13 Another coconut. Gosh, I love these things so much. Well, this is different. $16. 2000 That is super weird. I'm super into it, though. $16. And 20% off. I kind of love it. I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble on that definitely unique. This piece also stands out to me, this Fenton. That's $12 and 20% off. So I'll take that as well for that price. I was a little on the fence about this piece. Couldn't really tell the age. It kind of looks Czechoslovakian. It's $8 and 20% off. I feel like there's one good way to tell. I have a feeling it is Czech and sure enough, does glow so therefore that tells me it's got some age for six bucks i'm gonna take that too and before i lose steam i had to go to my favorite nook of all 
Okay, this is a big one. It looks like they've completely revamped since I've been here last. And you have to look all the way from the floor to the ceiling in this booth. And they have high ceilings. This unicorn head, though. Oh, my gosh. I am not crazy about shipping that, but that is so fabulous. There is a little tiny signature in there, but I'm not going to look too much into it because I don't want to fall in love. I just want to move on. Um... That is definitely not for me. I ship all my own packages, so that does not look like something I want to do. This hobbyist base is really fun. $10 and then 20% off. Am I right? Yes, 20% off. $8. That's a really fun piece. I'm not like the craziest person about hobby hobbyist pieces, but that one's quite different. And it's like a twofer because you could point it this way or that way. The owl bookends. Oh, these are great too. What? $23 for both? That's a good deal. The little metal mesh purses. Oh my gosh, I love this one. That one is $25. Oh, that is so fantastic. I love that it's got the drawstring. That's really different. Oh yeah, for 20% off, I have to take that. Look at how perfect that is. That is like everything, everything. And then this one, this one's at $17 and 20% off. Sea Silver m and and it is marked. It's in great condition. So I am actually gonna take both of these this paperweight is really different is this one piece that's kind of crazy and up here the cat nursery planter how cute is that relpo that's eleven dollars and twenty percent off i'm gonna go ahead and take that too now speaking of hobbyist pieces this one requires attention the worm is obviously fantastic but et $15 and 20% off, which is kind of crazy. I know a lot of people are going to want me to pick that up, but I don't really want to mess with it. But below it, the vintage owl with lenticular eyes. That is ceramic. I've never seen that before. So cute for $7. I'm definitely going to go ahead and take that. That's more my speed. In booths like this, sometimes it's hard not to just pick up everything you could make a buck on. I try to make it really specific, the stuff that I like having around the house. And sometimes that mood changes, well, most times that mood changes from day to day. I love this ashtray, that is fantastic. I also have to keep in mind they're closing in less than an hour and I haven't even been downstairs. I haven't even finished the first floor. This is a fantastic crackle glass vase. Looks like it's missing the end of it right there. So fun though, that's a great price. Ooh, look at that. You know, I wonder if this is Blinko. I have a hard time telling the difference. It probably is. Look at Snoopy on the watermelon. I have a feeling that was Snoopy's sticker. $13, that's a great deal. Made in Korea, $13 and 20% off. I have a feeling that will be a popular one. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And it's ceramic, which is unexpected. Now over here, this is a fun booth. Can't help but notice this planter, another Relpo one. This one's $18, but 25% off. I love that style and it's a cat. I'm starting to tap out, but not before I notice this puppet thing. What in the world? Wow, this booth was definitely not like this before. There's a few things that definitely stand out for obvious reasons. Look at the face jug. That one's at 250. This one's really wild. Wow. 280 on that. And then this, that's definitely different. Ballerina JB. I've never seen that one before. I usually just see their little jewelry caskets. Usually find something in this booth. That is insane. But it's actually this jar that caught my attention the most. It's in Poli. $35 on this fantastic Impoli jar. 
that is most definitely coming with me. So I'm starting to feel tapped out. The amount of new stuff brought in here is actually insanely overwhelming. So I think I am just gonna quickly breeze through and have to come back, especially because there's like a booth with all these glasses upstairs and you have to make an appointment for them to look at your prescription. And I think I'd like to do that. Now check this out. This is all new back here. Oh wait, I found something really cool the last time in this booth. Look at this weird thing. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Five dollars. Do I want to ship that is the question. Not particularly. It's a little too contemporary for me anyway. Although, I should stop saying that. Because as long as it's got the look, that's what really matters. Pink sink, speaking of getting the look. Oh my gosh, I love this luster set. That is really unique. It looks like it's got like dandelions and posies on it. And then like, look at this ram's head. What? Blue ram, $8. That's got a really interesting feel and look to it. For $8, I'm kind of like can't leave that there that's really cool and then look at this like old trophy whoa 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 what is that oh not what i thought it was i thought it was a glass paperweight with like the scene painted on the inside see that's how i know it's starting to, it's starting to be that time church pews that's different oh my gosh speaking of different look at that model a really neat booth the chest set is wild. That's at 130. Does it have its pieces? I wonder. Not that I'm gonna buy it, but still very neat. And then this uh, hobbyist duck, along with Charlie McCarthy and the moon wall hanging. Is what is this? That's weird. Made in Poland. That's definitely different. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> Cause like, look at this booth. This vendor was moving in the last time I was here and I love their style. These Pier 1 Cat Salt and Pepper Shakers are amazing. Those are at 14. Pier 1 has become kind of collectible. Ooh, and I now see that they have the 20% off. I love the frog taking a bath wall plaque that is so fun that one's at 15 so 12 that's not bad honestly i'm just a little shopped out otherwise and probably snag a lot of more of this stuff and then these guys uranium bases at 25 that's awesome oh my god oh my god i need this 28 dollars 20 percent off i don't know if this is ever gonna leave my possession 10 out of 10 but also look at this weird thing this has a certain look to it too arabia finland 70 dollars. never seen that i usually just see the creamers that's very cool but uh yeah, wow, overwhelmed, <laughs> to say the least. And this tiki thing, what is this even? Tiki head, $85, that's amazing. And look at the Vi Virginia Beach ashtray, that's so fun. Made in Japan, $20 and 20% off, that's a great price too. Well, look at that, but it's this that stands out. This actually looks like a slurp stall. I'm pretty sure it is, and it's $10 and 20% off. Slurp sell for big money, like anywhere from 50 to over 100 So I've seen them go for higher too, but not in a while. So even though Plush has taken a dive, I'm still going to be leaving with this. And I also noticed this very unusual Adam and Eve box. That's very different. And of course, I see the laurel birch, but even though the price is right, I don't really feel like messing with that today. Yes, I just like have to leave. I'm, <laughs> I didn't even finish, but I saw this sign downstairs for $6 and I just felt like I don't really need it, but I can't leave it there for $6. And then I saw this. 
$45. Is there a discount in this booth? And 25% off. I think I'm gonna need a key. Well, I think I overdid it. I spent $585 in there, but I got a lot of really great stuff and I am ready to call it a day. So I will see you guys tomorrow.